up what God does, he does good and very good. God just don't do something just to do it, amen. Sometimes God got to sit you down and sit you still to be able to talk to you. Because God knows that if you be wanted and keep going, you don't be able to hear from God. You will miss out on what God is trying to tell you. God is here. That clarity that you need, God is here. You might get a little crazy, amen, but I'll tell you what. The miracle that you need is in the building, amen. The blessing that you need is in the building, amen. The that you need is in the building. Jesus, and he's in love. 
in love with you. Hey Amen. As you begin to meditate, hey man, I'm going to go ahead and let that man walk down. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for allowing your glory to fill this house. And we thank you, Lord, because, Lord, there are people that are in need of you, Lord. Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would penetrate on their heart, Lord, on the spirit man, Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Lord, as we seek the kingdom of heaven first in your righteousness, and all things will be added in our place. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for that sweet spirit that is in this place. Lord, tonight, Lord, I'm praying, Lord, I'm asking, Lord, to move now in the name of Jesus. As you begin to move, Lord, Lord, that you would meet the needs of your people. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, I pray, Lord, everything that is before you tonight, Lord, allow them to open up their mouth, Lord, and release it unto you. Lord, and as they release it unto you, Lord, that you would take care of the situation, the problem, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I'm grateful tonight. Lord, I'm thankful tonight. Lord, for who you are, Lord. For what you've done for me, Lord. Lord, and I accept you as my personal Savior. Lord, I thank you, Lord God. Thank you for everything that you've done, doing, and what you're getting ready to do, Lord. On this day. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God loves you. God loves you. Hear me in the spirit when God loves you. Somebody's been looking for love in all the wrong places. Amen. Somebody's trying to find a man. Amen. He's not the one. Somebody, somebody's trying to find a woman. She's not the one. Amen. There's a word from God tonight. There's a sweet spirit in this place this evening. And to be real and be honest with you, God is moving already. He's moving already. Receive the Lord while He's here. Allow Him to work on you tonight. We all need a little work. We all need a little work. Just open up your mouth and say, Lord, Lord, work on me. Work on me. Say it like you mean, Lord. Lord, work on me. Work on me. Grab right back one time and say, Lord. Lord, work on me. Work on me. Do whatever it is that you got to do. Yes. Lord, Lord, work on me. Amen. Give it on to God who's the head of my life. Without God, I'm nothing. I'm just a filthy rag saved by grace. I'm nothing without God. Amen. To the pulpit. To the leadership of New Season Ministry, God bless you. I'm thankful for you all. I'm thankful. Hear what I'm saying. I'm thankful. I'm gonna move on. I just want to tell you this: that um, I was my back was hurting about a week or two ago. And I asked the leadership team to pray for me, and I, I tell you, they prayed for me. And I can honestly stand here today and tell you, and I ain't gonna lie, no pulpit. I'm gonna tell the truth, Pastor. You know, I don't have that pain. Amen. 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 Believe it or not, when it left, it left. Amen. That's all <laughs> right. God. Hallelujah. God. It's good to have people that know how to That's pray. Right. That's Amen. right. It's yeah. good to have people that know how to get a contact with God, to be able to pray, to be able to have a contact with God. I thank you. Lord knows I'm thankful for my son. I seen him. I was overjoyed. I'm just happy that he's back in the building. I thank God for him. Y'all show your love for him. I call him my son. He is my son. Richard. And I'll show you love yeah. my brother. Amen. Yeah. And he's training in one up while he's young. A little preacher back there. Yes, sir. Tell you, man, uh, we didn't get a chance to actually talk, talk. But um, he knew when I mean him got a chance to talk. He told me that. He said, Pop, all it was was just the enemy. He said that he's lining up everything with God. Amen. You know, when you're lining up everything with God, the enemy wants to sure show his hand. But I thank God that there's some Jesus in him. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Amen. That's right. I know Richard. Amen. I know Richard will go to bat. Amen. And he'll put it down if he has to. Amen. Just like some of us out there in the audience. You can put it down if you have to. Amen. 
And I thank God that he's matured and he's following God's instructions. That's right. Amen. Amen. I give honor to my beautiful wife that God has given me. To Lady Logan's, the only, the only Lady Logan's that's in is going to be for new season ministry. Amen. Amen. Y'all show your love for us. On fire for God. Yes. Amen. To each and every one of you, you beautiful people, you God's creatures that He has made. Amen. Look around. Look at look how beautiful you all are. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I don't see ugliness at all. Thank I see Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To God be the glory. Good to see you, sister. God bless you. To the woman, the woman of God, yes. woman of God, to the young lady that God has something for you. Amen. Amen. He has something for you. You've been picked out. You've been picked on. Amen. That's from God. Amen. I don't say nothing just to say it. And I don't believe that a man getting up here is a proper lion. When God tells me something, I'll let you know about it. Amen. God has something great for you. The key is staying humble before God. Allow God to lead you. Allow no boy to lead you. Allow no little girl to lead you. Allow God to lead you. You know the good thing about it? That you know who God is. That's right. Don't you? Amen. You felt the presence of the Holy Spirit before. Amen. Amen. To my beautiful mom that she almost made me pass out the other day when she told me she was going home. I had to regroup her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had to be honest with you. I, I ain't going to lie to you. I got mad. I'm not flying. I'm saying, listen, I ain't going to lie to you. Standing, I ain't going to lie to you, period. I ain't going to lie to you standing in the pulpit. I, I got mad. I got quiet. I got quiet and I'm being honest with you. It was a long drive. A long drive home. I got, I'm not going to lie to you. Now listen, one thing about us, we keep it real with you. I got mad. <laughs> but I know that you know that she will, and she better be. Going I got to go home, home, son. <laughs> I got to go read you from here. <laughs> I'll be back in February. Amen. Let's move, let's move on. I see myself in Dallas, so that's But the thing on is that it's good for God to make with real people. Amen. That's what it is. Real people. They right. keep it real with you. Amen. Yeah, I think I got everybody out here. To my, to my saint, boy, the finger on me, he cut a step in. <laughs> my one year old had a mic. And listen, she'll hold on. She'll hold on. She'll hold on to the angels. Excluding blessing. Blessing is the praise and worship. She likes to do the dance. Faith is like a barefoot. Sit down and say, she want to take a mama position. Amen. I don't believe I'm going to relinquish that. Amen. All right. One day, yes, we are building up a church. Yes, we are. That is righteous and holy. Amen. Let us turn to the word of God. Now listen. This is going to be a, a message from God. God be this. When God will be up early this morning. Lord knows that he did not be sleep last night. Every time I lay down, it's like people do this. You want to get up. But you know how sometimes we do when God's trying to talk to you, you want to go back and lay back down. Any witnesses in the house? Amen. I'm one of them. <laughs> and then you fool around and think that you're laying down and want to sleep for a minute, all of a sudden, you just cannot sleep. Amen. My son came in. I don't know what time he came in to run the doorbell. And I'm like, Daddy, Wayne, is that you? I ain't hear nothing. The closer I got to the door, and he finally said, Yes. I opened the door, I let him in. Just one right. Got that up, and before I know it, he had to go to Utica or somewhere. He had to be out and play the drums for another church. And he had left, and I always like to try to have contact with him before he leave. He still wasn't sitting right with me. But God got me up this morning about 6 o'clock, got up, got a shower, did everything that I needed to do. And there's a word from God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Let us turn to Genesis. Chapter 1. The 26th verse. We're going to read a few scriptures tonight. Amen. It's all going to tie in together. 
Never say amen. amen. If you don't say wait on me, we'll wait. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. You ready? Amen. Amen. And the word of God reads, I got the King James Version. Amen. It says, And God said, Let us make men in our own image. After our likeness, and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowls of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Amen. Go to Genesis chapter 2, we're going to go to verse 7. And it says, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Say life. life. Y'all say it like you mean. Somebody, we all live in the house. nobody dead up in the house, are they? Huh? Say life. Life. And man became a living soul. Jump down to the 22nd. Same chapter 2. Verse 22. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from men, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. We got a lesson to you in the words of notification of himself. Amen. You may be seated. God gave me this message. He told me to tell his people. He said, Live and be happy about it. Come on now. Come on. Come on. I'm one that likes to break things down. I like to use the letters that God gave me about life. Living and full. Giving God your all in everything that you do. Yes. Being happy about what God has created. Yes. Have you ever looked in the mirror and looked at yourself? The Word of God said God created man and woman after his own image. Yes. So that means if God looked, if God is good, yes. that means that we are good. Yes. Come on now. Let's look at your neighbor. Look at him. I know I, I, know I might need my glasses, but look at him. <laughs> look at him. I'm serious. I want you to look at him. God made you. Huh? God made you. He made something very good. Huh? I'm glad about it. He took the time out to make me. I'm glad about it. He gave me life. I'm glad that He breathed into my nostril of men and gave me life. I'm living. Amen. I'm living and I'm glad about it because of there was a time in my life that I didn't want to live. Come on now. Keeping it real with you. I know I ain't the only one, but I can talk about David. At one time, things had got, so I say, so hectic, I didn't want to live no more. To be honest about it, I wanted to take my life. But I thank you, Jesus. May God sent an angel my way. To tell me, look, son, it ain't your time. God's got work for you to do. Look at your neighbor and point at them and say, God's got work for you to do. Look at somebody else and say, God's got work for you to do. Tell them that it's not your time. Somebody needs to hear that, that it's not your time. It's not your time to give up on God. Somebody in the building has given up on God tonight. Amen. Somebody said, no, it can't be like this. But how, do you, how many of you know that God has a, a picture through some things? Amen. He has to strip away some things in your life. Some things that we're holding on to that we don't need to hold on to no more. Amen. There's a time that I want to hang on to things, but God was telling me to let it go. Look at your neighbor and say, let it go. Let it go. Whatever it is, to let it go. My God. 
My question is that how can we say that we love God? Come on now. We didn't have ever seen it before, but we see each other That's right. on a daily basis. Oh, and can't stand one another. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Preach. Tell me that you love me, but I turn my back. Here you is stabbing me in my back. Oh, come on now. Been there, done that. Jesus. Been at a church that they told me that they... They just loved the, loved the anointing. They wanted to feed off of my anointing. They were leeches. They wanted to what? I got up and sung. The Lord would use me to shift the atmosphere. Come on now. When the atmosphere got shifted, then the pastor wanted to get up and he wanted to take control. Okay. Not knowing that God was in control of all. That's right. Amen. Amen. I just stopped by to tell you, encourage you. Like, there are people that are in your life that don't mean you're a hill of beans. They're there because of, to be real with you, you invited them in. You opened the door. God didn't open the door. You opened the door. I know that I can talk about relationships. Sometimes you go get that booger. I call him booger, yes. You invite him over for them late night calls. God didn't invite him over. Come on now. God didn't have nothing to do with it. That's right. You did it. Just like at work, I tell these young people, I have young people up underneath me. They work for me. Now they come in and sit down. You know what I would love to do? I would love if God would do an interview before he allowed us to become a part of his life. Mm. Ouch. Come on now. And the thing about it is he knows what you're going to say. He knows who you are before you even get in there. I always say you like to fake the funk. Amen. Amen. They sit in the interview and they'll tell me, I said, that this is what we're looking for. Oh, yeah, I can do that. I need you to be on time at a certain time. I need you to be here at 730. Can you be here? Yeah, I can be here. How do you go? I got my own vehicle. Well, God bless you. Some of them say they ride the bus. God bless you. But there's a time that I need you to be here. Some of them get there the first day. They'll come in there excited and they'll come in to work. Just like us. We become saved. We be excited for God. Amen. Amen. I'm going so well. Stay with me just for a few minutes. Amen. Get there and they're excited. You put them at, we call, we have a table that we call it, the assorting table. You put them there, you have to lift the bag. All you got to do is lift the bag, rip the bag, and lay the clothes out. You see a spot on it, you get rid of it. Amen. There's a quarter that needs to be met. I need you to do that. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that, David. I can do that, Pastor. They call me real. They can do that. No problem. Get in there, and they begin to do that. And all of a sudden, about an hour or later, then, this ain't for me. This ain't, I can't do it. This manual labor, I'm not used to this. I can't do it. Now, what happened as God was like that with us? Become a Christian. You're hot when you come up. You come saved, you on fire. Amen. Let a trial, let a storm come. My Lord, my Lord. Amen. Jesus. You're still, that's right, Evangelist. You're supposed to be on fire. You're still, did you catch that? You're still, but we allow bumps to come in the road. Come on now. Then comes a problem. Then we want to come and want to doubt God. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, Come on, Holy Ghost. God, this can't be you. You wouldn't allow me to go through this. Well, what happened when God has said, allow me to lead you, and you follow? Allow me to lead you. God has said, allow me to lead you, and you follow. But the thing of it is, how many of us, we all black in here, amen. I see, I ain't see nobody. I, my, my baby might be the lightest one in here, but she's still black. Come on now. Amen. That's black folk always want to be the leader. Come on now. Come Don't ever want to follow. Come on now. Amen. You don't got to say nothing. I know what I'm talking about because I like that myself. Amen. I always want to lead. But don't, don't ever want to follow. But there comes a time in life that you have to have somebody that's going to lead you. Wouldn't, pray, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to have somebody that is that, that will lead you the right way? I'm talking about God. If we allow Him, Come on now. He'll lead us the right way. I spoke a message about three weeks ago about following God's instruction. It's very simple, very plain. If we allow God to do it and get stuff out the way, We'll do just fine. Yes, we will. 
We'll do just fine. But the problem is that we want to lead all the time. Amen. Do you want to lead all the time? Amen. Don't get quiet on me. Amen. Want to lead all the time. But tonight I stop by and hear what thus saith the Lord. Allow God to lead you. If He's leading you, He's leading, He's going to lead you on the right track, the right road. Amen. God, also, God gave me five things I just want to drop on you right quick and then we're going to move on. I'm going to do a drive-by and you'll get shot and you're going to bleed and some of you ain't going to bandage it up but it's going to still you're going to get shot. Amen. Amen. Don't settle for anything. Come on now. I'm talking about in relationships. That's right. Come on now, right? I'm talking about job wise. I ain't even talking about spiritual wise. Amen. Now, if you know you had a church that is dead, you think you should be there? <laughs> Hello. Come on now. Yeah, but still there. Come on now. Ooh, it's going to change. Talk about it, Pastor. It's going to change. Say ouch. Say something. Say ouch. Ouch. And think, oh, if I stay, oh, if I stay here, if I stay here, God will use me to change the situation. No, no, God is trying to wake you up and tell you something. Come on now. Amen. I'll just something. If you had a church that you know that is dead and there ain't no God in it, it's time for you to move. That's right. Amen. That's right. Time for you to start and go listen. There's nothing wrong with doing things in decent and order. Amen. You know, that's the problem. Do things the right way. That's right. And all that you do, do things the right way. Amen. Don't settle. Some of us want to settle for a half man. Amen. Well, he half of a man. Okay, well, let him be a half of a man. First off, God didn't send you that man. You went out and got him yourself. Amen. The word of God said, a man that findeth a wife. The word of God said, a man. He said, I'm not a woman. He said, a man. Let me allow that man, allow God to send your Boaz. That's right, that's right. Amen. That's right, that's right. Sometimes we just want to settle for anything because he, cause he smelled good, he looked good. Okay. And the God sent him. Amen. The God sent him. No, he didn't. Amen. Don't settle for nothing. That's right. In the spiritual walk, and I tell New Season Ministry, it's very critical. This is a very critical stage for all of God's people, all of God's children. Very critical. This is a time that we need to line up everything. We need to trust God. If we ain't ever trusted Him before, we need to trust Him now. Yes, yes. God is trying to take us all to somewhere different. That's right. I mean, levels, like my wife says, is like an elevator. You can only go up so high. That's right. God wants to move new season ministry and you all to different dimensions. Come on now. Come on now. He wants to do that. He wants to do that. The thing of it is, will you allow him to do it? Will you get self out of the way? Amen. No thing God gave me this morning, he says, re-examine your life. Look at your neighbor. I said, re-examine your life. Say it like you mean it. Re-examine your life. What are you saying, preacher? We need to go back. And re-examine where we where we um, left for God, where we got in God's way. We got in His way instead of allowing God to lead us. Sometimes we, I'm telling you, I've been there, I've done that before. So allowing God to lead me, I, I jumped in the way, and then I wanted to, to lead the horse. Allow God to do. We jump in God's way. Now God, we need to go back and make it right. Amen. Amen. And living totally for God, that means sold out sold out. Yes. Being real with you, I'm telling you, and my wife will tell you, I told her when I first met her, I told her God is first. Amen. She'll tell you. You know what? She didn't fight me and she talked about, mm -hmm, and I was shaking her head and all that stuff. No, she didn't. She knew. And that's a good thing. Yes, it is. Sometimes uh, a man of God, said, well, uh, a woman of God said, well, God is first in my life. Oh, here we go. Put the gloves on. Oh. Amen. But some people don't know how to accept that. But when it's, when it's real and when it's of God, people will understand and accept that. Yes, they will. Amen. 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 Living totally for God. What that means is, listen, 
things that you've done, even if you've done something last night, make it right with God. And leave it there. And I felt so strong in my spirit when I was standing over there. The Holy Spirit spoke to me and said that when we call altar call, come to the altar, confess it, talk to God, and leave it. That's the key that we don't do. We'll go to God and we'll pray and ask God to forgive us, but we want to take it back to our seats, take it back to our house, take it back to wherever we're going. But God is saying tonight, whatever it is, bring it to the altar and leave it. And I'll take care of it. Amen. Too long have God people suffering because we're suffering because we want to suffer. We're doing things because we want to do it and God is not in it. God is saying tonight, the night is your night. Just like we used to go out and, and party, oh, it's going to be on tonight. You get all dressed up and smelling good and want to go, the boy is ready. You, yo, you ready? Yeah, man, I'm ready. Girl, you know, we, the day there, let's go. Want to get dressed up and want to go party, but tonight is your night. Does anybody want to party with God? Huh? That's the real part. Yeah, the real part. The real part. Oh, and then that's right. Then the after part. That's right. Does anybody want to party with God tonight? Yeah. Huh? Don't Hallelujah. fool me if you don't. If you don't, you don't. But I do. Thank you. I want to really party with him. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. I really want to party with him. Because I know that what he's brought me through, I know he's been too good to me. Jesus. Too good to me. And then, then, then the thing that is that what he's done for me, that you know what, I, I sit back and I ponder, I say, wow. I say, God, I said, you really love me because some of the stupid things that I've done. And still, he was right there. And I know I ain't the only one, so we all have done some crazy things. Amen. Bust sometimes, I'll slap sometimes. Amen. Cut somebody out, bust on, hit somebody in the head with a bottle or something. Amen. Yes, we can do some crazy things. Amen. Amen. Told somebody to catch you outside, I'm going to shoot you or whatever, this and that. But thank God for grace and mercy. Amen. And help us, Lord. Amen. Now listen, we've done something. If you really sit back, just I tell you what, uh, this, is a, this is a quick break. I just want you to think back some of the things that you've done and tell them. And I want you seriously to open up your mouth and scream and say, Lord, I thank you. Amen. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you. Thank you. Jesus. For some of us, Lord, have mercy. Jesus. Boy, if he will, if he will reveal some of the things that we've done. My God. If he took the cover off of some of the things that we've done and other people have seen. You know us for black folks. You know that. Well, they won't let you live it down. I don't care how saved you is. Now bring it back to your remembrance. Amen. But aren't you so glad that God is who He is? Thank God for Jesus. Amen. Thank God. I thank God because Lord knows that there were places that I should have been, but I went anyway. Amen. Because I allowed my mind to do the thinking instead of consulting God. Amen. I know I ain't the only one. Amen. But I thank God that I can get it right. Amen. And I thank God that I have a second chance. I thank God for life. Thank you, Jesus. Because somebody this morning didn't wake up this morning. Come on now. Amen. But look, at we're here in the house of God. Yes. Amen. Yes. Somebody right now, as I'm standing up giving the word that God gave me, has got shot a stab oh. right now. Oh, Amen. They're bleeding. Amen. They don't know if they're going to make it. Rushing, they got to rush into the hospital. But thank God that we're in the house and I look around and I see that nobody's bleeding. That we're yet still alive. Yes. The blood of Jesus has covered us. Yes. Amen. And we still have life. God has breathed upon us. Yes. A son and angel this morning to wake us up. Hallelujah. We're here in the house of God. Yes. Amen. That enough, Lord, I want to thank you tonight. Amen. You think about it. Listen, some of us could have had AIDS, could have had some other type of disease. Come on now. Amen. I'm going to have your way, Holy Spirit. Woo! Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I could have been the one that had AIDS. Amen. But I thank God that I didn't. Amen. Can have all them other diseases. Jesus. Amen. Lord, thank you, Lord. But don't you want to thank God tonight? Thank you, Lord. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank you, Lord. Thank God. you, Lord. Thank you. I want to thank you, Lord, because you, you Lord, did you allow nothing to come upon me? Oh, no disease thank to come God. upon me. Hallelujah. No thank bullet you. to shoot me. Nobody Hallelujah. to stab me. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. 
even when I was in my wrong, Lord, I thank you, Lord God. Because God seen something in me, seen something in me. Amen. Children, I want you to hear me now. It just ain't the old folks checking out. Or the older people. Or the seasoned people. Let me say that because I want nobody to get mad at me. The seasoned people. Young people are dying. 10, 12, even younger, even older. Over foolishness. Because I don't like what color you have on. You got Jordan sneakers on. I want your sneakers. If you don't give them to me, I'm going to stab you. I'm going to shoot you. This is real. But I thank you, Lord, for the, ch the, the, for the children that are here tonight. They're safe in God's arms. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. They're safe tonight Thank you. in God's arms. Yeah. And I always say this, and I always like to give God His props. I thank God for who He gave me. Amen. 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 I'm truly thankful. Because there was a time that I went out trying to find her. Amen. And found some bogus. Amen. But the thing with it is, when I line up my life, when I line up my walk with God, I'm telling you, when you do what God asks you to do, He'll bless you. He'll reward you. When I line my life up with God, and believe me, it was quick. Told me where to go, where I was going to meet her at. And everything fell into place. And on the flip side of that, the Holy, she had um, asked God something. And said, Lord, I'll know my husband when he asked me this specific question. Amen. And you look down at her, she'll tell you that I asked her that question. My Lord. And then she got mad at me. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> what he, what he, oh no, not him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. And some of us are waiting for confirmation. Amen. Come on now. Amen. That's right. Amen. Jesus. You look at right down and hug her and dad and give him the confirmation. Because he said that he would let her know that when God sent her husband to her. And he did. And then she knew then. But sometimes when God sent the confirmation, I heard this and it's so true. You'll send a man or woman, a prophet of God, a prophetess of God to tell you something. And They'll tell you, you might receive, I receive it, but you, you still don't believe it. Well, Lord, uh, uh, if, if, if it's you, which is cute, which is funny, if it's you, Lord, will you send me another sign? The sign was already there. Come on now. Amen. Believe me, the Holy Spirit is not wrong. It will tell you the truth. It will convict you if need be. But listen, when the Holy Spirit speaks, and He speaks through a prophetess or a prophet of God, try the Spirit by the Spirit. That's Amen? Right. Amen. See if it's of God. Amen. Let us stand tonight.